we designed a win-win-win-win situation. And Nia and Rudy will now talk to the owner and the whole family and make this proposal. And later, they will let me know what the response is. Thank you. Here. He has a lot of yeah. children. Here. Yeah. And then after that, he, he made out so many. And yeah, if you can, as far as you can, mm -hmm. you do that one. Because in the first of September, they will be go to the school. Mm -hmm. And he said about, yeah, because he has a great pilot. Yeah. So you want to get the, the pilot. Yeah, yeah. pilot. Like when I talked to my lawyer, she said around. Um, one percent uh, per year of the of the sell price. Sell price. So if it's like uh, forty-five million per hour yeah. for for buying, yes. she said, then could be for for one year for lease. Yeah. Uh, uh, zero point four five million. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then for ten years lease yeah. could be four point five million. But yeah, of course I understand yeah. that he needs like around whatever six hundred million right now. It's better you buy it, buy the land. But the thing is, like I already told you yesterday, when I when I buy it, um, um, I cannot get. You know, Hakpakai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what the what the lawyer said. I cannot get this when I uh, because it's the green zone. When I buy it as freehold, I cannot get the permit to to build. But when I lease. Um, then it's no problem. No problem. Either. Yeah, I think you need about sixty percent. Yeah. If you if you pay for if he agree with the price your price thirty eight you must pay for sixty percent. Yeah. yeah yeah. Sixty percent twenty twenty. Yeah. Yeah. I just calculated sixty percent is nine nine hundred seventy one million. Yeah, nine hundred seventy one. Yeah. Done. So if it's 38 million, million yeah. times 42.6 yeah, yeah. this is the total, 1.6 billion. Yeah. And then like 60% now would be 971 million, million, so they have enough for the bank and yeah, for, and the, for, the, for the, the university. Yeah. Yes. And then 20% in three months. Gigabulan. Gigabulan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, that was a really, really good meeting with my friends, Nia and Rudy, with whom we yesterday did the tour of the land if you didn't watch that watch it, it was uh, exciting <laughs> we discovered many new aspects and yeah my resonance only grows stronger and stronger and today we talked about the last puzzle piece that needs to be put at the proper place when my lawyer did the checking of the certificate of the land she found out that it's in the green zone and green zone means um, no buildings just agricultural purposes like a rice field or a coffee plantation or just wilderness but there are two types of green zones there's the protected green zone and there's the unprotected green zone the protected green zone was the zoning of the land that we previously found and that was my absolute favorite up until this point. This is where I recorded the first episode <laughs> of this series where I showed you the amazing view of the Batukaru mountains and I was immediately in love when we, when we visited this land. And since it's in the protected green zone, I as a foreigner cannot do anything there besides growing rice or coffee or durian like not even a single structure can be put there that's why we unfortunately said no to this opportunity but the land that we found now is green zone but in the unprotected area that means that semi-permanent buildings so nothing with a concrete foundation 
semi-permanent buildings are tents like this, little bamboo, little wooden huts that are not sealing the ground, no concrete foundation, but that can be removed fairly easily. This is possible. And 10% of the land can be even built uh, upon with um, permanent structures, like a proper concrete house, which is not what we're intending. So for semi-permanent, green light. Nice. But the caveat is, since I'm not a local, although I already have a Kitas, uh, which is a, a long-term stay permit, but I'm not a local, so I cannot buy this land as a freehold. Freehold means like buying land, owning it forever and passing it on to your children. I can only lease the land, which means for a certain period, I can do everything I want with it and afterwards it goes back to the previous owner or I extend the lease and um, pay another fee for that. And that is not a drawback, that is actually a feature. It's something that I absolutely like since there's a strong voice in my head that tells me like it's not appropriate to get ownership of this land. Like this family stewarded this land for many 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 generations and I really like them possessing ownership of it and I see myself as a temporary steward. Um, I was not born here, I came here and I want to serve here, I want to give value and not take. So the leasehold, which would be a red flag for many people, is actually something that I really like and that's possible for me as a foreigner even on the green zone non-protected area the thing is the owner doesn't want to lease the owner wants to sell and then right now we talked about why does the owner want to sell and i learned that he needs a substantial amount of money right now to send his grandson to send his grandson to university and he wants to be a pilot and this is very expensive and then there's another bank fee that needs to be paid and so he needs a substantial amount of money right now and that's why he only wants to sell so what we just tried to figure out was how can both needs be fulfilled how can i get the leasehold that i need for making it possible because i'm only allowed to do that as a foreigner and how can still the owner get the amount of money he needs right now so we were drafting an offer that is a really 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 long-term lease unusual most leases are for 20 years 25 years 30 years we made a proposal for a really long-term lease so the owner gets almost the same amount of money he would get when he would sell the land and still make sure that his grandchildren either get the money back or get another payment so he supports them down the road too, while at the same time ensuring that he's able to pay the bills that are pressing right now. So, in my opinion, we designed a win-win-win-win situation. And Nia and Rudy will now talk to the owner and the whole family and make this proposal. And later, they will let me know what the response is. So now, we need to wait. Bumps. I just opened my WhatsApp and I just read the first words of the message that I just received and I immediately pulled out the camera to document this moment. The first words that I read was, hi Robert, the landowner agreed with your price.
would you go to the notary tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. <laughs> Holy shit. Checking if it's real. If it's real. It's from my friend Nia. Holy smokes. <gasps> Holy smokes. Hi Robert, the landowner agree with your price. <laughs> Would you go to the notary tomorrow morning at 9 a.m.? feels unreal and at the same time it feels so normal <laughs> it's a feeling of yes of course that's the next path that's like I think I need the remainder of this evening to process that Claudia is fucking getting real. Oh my god. A dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Also mit Sicherheit noch nicht gesehen, Robert, aber um, das habe ich dir jetzt auch dazu geschickt, um, wo ich um, ja, einfach nochmal meine Impulse mit eingebracht habe und das auch weiter, was für mich eine Erweiterung konnte. Und da bin ich sehr gespannt auf den Effekt. Ähm, und es hat sich eine sehr, sehr spannende ähm, Einladung äh, gegeben, ähm, die nochmal die notwendige Praxis bezüglich der Zeitverstellung voranbringt. Da habe ich ja wieder eine Anfassung von mir selbst. Ähm, Ja, ja, hallo Papa, hallo, hallo. Abendliche, abendliche Grüße aus Bali. <lacht> That was with my dad and yeah we discussed all the all the further steps my dad is not only my, my partner in building custodia he's the investor too I'm not currently in the in the situation to acquire a land this size this is made possible through him and through him trusting me in building that and this makes me incredibly grateful to be able to not only have this family co-creation um, but yeah to join forces to join forces and to build something meaningful together because he's on the on the same path as I am in like so many things are aligned be it entrepreneurship be it nature aligned living permaculture in last week's video I shared with you that uh, that they just um, acquired the land for their dream home for the second second family home on the other side of the planet in Italy um, yeah so yeah making this happen with him joining forces is, is deeply humbling and yeah. in general all the support from from my family it's like whenever I talk to people about community almost everybody tells me like yeah I'm looking for my tribe I want to build something because with the family I'm coming from it's it's very difficult things are not possible um, because we are on different paths and when I look into my family my grandma being here with us in Bali for the second time half a year <laughs> early 2024 my mom here for the first time me and Elena my ex-partner Leo's mom navigating this path very gracefully and co-creation with my dad and like being so close with my brother inviting him again and again and again to come to, to come to, our, 
to come to us to Bali. He will hopefully accept my invitation in 2025 next year. So yeah, it's <laughs> this day is quite quite overwhelming for me. So many things are happening. So many things are falling into place. I'm incredibly grateful for all the support I have, not only from my family, but like everybody, everybody playing a huge part in my role. I value you, I thank you, and to you for supporting what I'm doing through watching these videos, through supporting that with your time, with your energy, with your attention. It's not my project. Custodia is not my thing. <laughs> it's something that wants to be birthed. And I play my part in help birthing that. And other people are invited to play their part too. <sighs> so yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning we're gonna meet with the notary. And with the owner. And with my friends, Rudy and Nia. And <laughs> we're gonna move forward. Things are getting real. <sighs> the next major step towards my vision. <sighs> See you tomorrow. Look forward to share the next steps with you. <laughs> Holy smokes, this evening will be probably spent by some sleepless hours <laughs> trying to grasp everything that's happening. Holy moly. <sighs> 